My name is Phil, I'm bike riding in Rhode Island, and you're watching what I'm doing right now. Are you excited? Yeah, we're excited to be spending the day with you. Oh, okay, here's the map. I think first we should go to Fiesta Village. You're the tour guide here. I've Let's never been. Go. It says Camp Snoopy Rapids Transit. So we're gonna start off slow <laughs> okay. with Jaguar. Are you taller than this? Uh-oh. We just rode Jaguar. How many stars would you give it? Like two. Two stars? Two. It's not very roller coastery. No. It was just like we're gonna go on a quick little trip. Montezuma's Revenge. This one starts you from a standstill and then shoots you forward through the loop, back up, and then you come back this way and then back in. It's pretty short, but uh, it's got some G's. What's your rating of this one? Four stars. Four stars. That's gonna be hard to top. Four stars is pretty good. Well, as compared to the last one, I guess it's four. Yeah. Maybe compared to others, it'll be a three. Okay. As a kid, that ride scared me. Like, I would be sitting in the seat so anxious for the ride to start, afraid of what was about to happen to me. And now you're just like, meh. That's all right. Yeah. La Revolucion. How many stars would you give that one? I'd say four as well. Four I'd stars? Four. Okay, what's next? Next up is the Wave Swinger. Woo! Are you ready to go swinging? How many stars would you give the Wind Swinger or whatever it was called? I don't think it's a star ride. I think it's just like a leisurely break. Would you give it any stars? I'd give it three stars. Sure, I'd give it three stars. Okay. Okay. Next up we have the Accelerator. Apparently there's two lines. One for front car, and one for not front car. Okay, that was Silver Bullet. How many stars? I'm gonna give it less stars because it hurts your head and your neck. It's just like... That's normally the one that does give me a headache at this park. This but today, one, it did not give me a headache. This one gave me a headache. So, two. Two stars? I guess. Maybe I'm just getting so old that all of the ligaments and stuff in my head have become so worn out that it doesn't it's hurt me more. Wobbly wobbly? Yeah. Now are you ready for the log ride? Yeah, sure. the one that gets you scared? Maybe you're not tall enough to ride. Oh, see? You're not tall enough. It'll be okay. I promise. Maybe. Michael. Are you ready? I might cry. I never asked for this. Here we go. I never wanted this. Here we go. Michael, I'm so scared. I need to hold your hand. How many stars? At least five tiers. Five tiers? Wow. Are you ready for Ghost Rider? It's the only wooden coaster at Knott's Berry Farm, and it kind of hurts to ride. So enjoy. Thanks. How is that? Rough. How many stars? Three. Three stars? I guess. This one's for you. Hello, I am a minor. No, you're not. You're 31. You're right. We're all done at Knott's Berry Farm. How do you feel? Really? We had a lovely day together. How does it compare to Disneyland? I think there was more entertained here. I think Disneyland was entertaining because it was mostly lines. Disneyland is a lot of lines. Disneyland was like 50% lines and this was like 20% lines. We're at Portillo's, which is, if I had to share one like fast food place with you, it would be Portillo's. It's like what I grew up on in Chicago. What should I get? She either get a Maxwell Street dog or like 
a beef dip. Okay, here's my dog. What you got? I got a Portillo's beef dog with no relish. Okay. Okay. You know what today has been? Fun? Yes, it has been a fun day. That's good. And now, it's time to go home. Yeah. And by home, I mean to Stefan's parents' home. Here's the thing. I greatly overestimated the amount of both free time and work time that I would have on this trip. And I'm, I'm not counting things like going to Disneyland and going to Knott's Berry Farm as things that take up free time. Those were like planned events that while fun and definitely worthwhile to do, they don't recharge my batteries. So there's only been one day so far, it was the one day that I didn't vlog, it was last Monday, in between season seven and eight of what I'm doing right now. That was the only day this trip where I feel like my battery has got some recharging action. Aside from that, I've not had a good chunk of time to sit down and work on vlog stuff, so it's slipping farther behind again. And we brought down a bunch of Kate Tectonic stuff so that I could finish episode three while we're down here, and that hasn't happened yet. And tomorrow we're supposed to start driving to Las Vegas. So, don't know how much tonight I should stress out about trying to get something done, or trying to relax and recharge my batteries, or what. I just finished writing some music for the next video to go live. It's almost five in the morning, so I think it's time to go to sleep now. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.